G'day to all my friends and family, and welcome to this episode of Jim's 5am Club. What we'll be doing today is stepping through a book entitled, Will I Ever Be Good Enough? And it's a book that looks into the healing the daughters of narcissistic mothers, and it's authored by... Carol McBride and published on the 8th of September 2009. This book is a transformative guide aimed at helping women who have grown up with narcissistic mothers and the book combines personal anecdotes, psychological insights and practical experiences to help readers understand the impact of their upbringing and work towards healing. The first key message that comes from this book is the understanding of what narcissism is and McBride provides a clear definition of narcissism explaining how it manifests in parenting. She emphasizes that narcissistic mothers often prioritise their own needs over their children's needs, leading to emotional neglect and confusion. Understanding this behaviour is the first step towards healing. The impact of narcissistic parenting. This book discusses the long-term psychological effects on daughters raised by narcissistic mothers. These can include a low self-esteem, difficulty in forming healthy relationships and a pervasive sense of inadequacy. McBride emphasizes that recognizing, recognizing these patterns is crucial for breaking the cycle of dysfunction. Identifying the Good Daughter Syndrome McBride describes the Good Daughter Syndrome where daughters feel compelled to meet their mother's emotional needs at their expense of their own. This often results in a loss of identity and self-worth. The book encourages readers to identify and challenge these ingrained beliefs. What an interesting point that is, the good daughter syndrome. Our daughters, by trying to please and continually please their mothers, can actually lose their identity and sense of self-worth. It's really sad. I read this and I'm just so saddened to read this and it really is very, very deep and very, very real. But to think that a narcissistic mother is one who prioritises their own needs over their children's is also quite troubling for all of us. Because when you become a parent... When you become, when you get married, you tend to learn at that point that your life ends and your whole life is all about working together with your partner to serve your children, to raise your children, and that is a beautiful thing in itself. But obviously, it's not the same for all families. So we go on to learn here that it's important for the daughters in these families to learn to set boundaries because a significant lesson in the book is the importance of establishing healthy boundaries and McBride provides strategies for setting limits with narcissistic mothers which can help reclaim personal power and foster emotional well-being, learning to say no and protect one's emotional space is essential for surviving and healing.
the power of self-compassion is also looked at. The author McBride emphasizes the importance of self-compassion as a healing tool because daughters of narcissistic mothers often struggle with self-criticism and negative self-talk. The book encourages readers to practice kindness towards themselves. Let me repeat that because it's important to get this message through. The daughters need to practice kindness towards themselves and to acknowledge their feelings and experiences without judgment. The next point is the reclaiming of identity. The journey towards healing involves rediscovering one's identity outside of the mother-daughter dynamic. McBride encourages readers to explore their interests, values and passions, helping them to develop a sense of self that is independent of their mother's influence. Understanding the role of emotions, the author McBride discusses the importance of recognising and processing emotions. Daughters of narcissistic mothers may struggle with emotional regulation and often feel guilt or shame about their feelings. The book advocates for embracing and validating one's emotions as part of the healing process. We go on to talk about the therapeutic tools and resources and the book offers various therapeutic tools and exercises including journaling and these journaling prompts and reflection activities help to assist readers in their healing journey. McBride encourages seeking professional help such as therapy or support groups to navigate the complexities of healing from narcissistic abuse. There is an importance placed on support systems and the author highlights the value of building a supportive community around you. Surrounding oneself with understanding and empathetic individuals can provide validation and encouragement. The book encourages readers to seek relationships that foster mutual respect and understanding. And the last key learning, the last key point that comes from this book is that people, the daughters, need to embrace healing as a journey. McBride emphasizes that healing from the effects of a narcissistic mother is an ongoing journey rather than a destination. She encourages readers to be patient with themselves and to celebrate small victories along the way, understanding that setbacks may occur, but progress is possible, is vital for sustained healing. This book, Will I Ever Be Good Enough? by Carol McBride, offers a comprehensive exploration of the challenges faced by daughters of narcissistic mothers through understanding, boundary setting, self-compassion and the use of therapeutic tools. McBride provides a roadmap for healing and personal empowerment. The book serves as a vital resource for all of those seeking to break free from the patterns of narcissistic parenting and reclaim their own identities and emotional well-beings. What a powerful, powerful book. And once again, another sad look at what is happening potentially all around us, where mothers are competing against their daughters for attention. Take care, everybody. Look after yourselves and bye for now.